Hey what's going on guys and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase and today I'm showcasing the security craft mod. This has recently had a 1.7.10 update so as you can imagine it has a lot of really cool things. Me and Cody have been using it for probably like 6 months now like the, the door pads and things like that but it's become so huge that we could possibly make a mini game out of it where me and Cody have to say make a prison or a maze and the other has to escape it as quickly as possible and the slowest person out loses. Um, or we could come up with another mini game if you guys suggest below, but if we hit 3000 likes we'll do that. But today I'm going to show you exactly what this version of the mod adds in. So, the usual, we have a reinforced iron door along with the keypad. And the keypad is crafted with just a lot of buttons. A lot of these are really cheap um, to craft, but they're really, really useful. So the keypad, I set the password to 1, 2, 3, 4. Once you type it in, you may enter. And then the door will close behind you. Now. Let me pop back outside a second, I'll show you where I am. I'm actually at a prison. So I thought, what better place to make secure than a prison? So I've been tweaking it up and making it a lot more safe for the guards. So here we have a laser, and these laser blocks are crafted using six stone, one redstone block, and a glass pane, and you need two of these within three blocks of each other. And then if you put two of these little alarms on top, which are crafted with a redstone, a note block, and is that five? Is that five pieces of glass? And then if you step through, it tells the rest of the prison someone has arrived. So it's kind of like a door, you know when you go in a shop and the bell rings? That's the kind of thing I'm going through all there. So they just know someone new has arrived. Next we have another reinforced door, along with a retinal scanner. And a retinal scanner's crafted with eight stone and one eye of ender and you just walk up to it now this one has already been programmed to me once you put it down new you just walk up to it and the door will open it tells you it says hello how very friendly and you can do it from the back end too although it doesn't have a face on it hey let me out thank you now there's also another radar Ooh, went through there a portable radar which is crafted with Six pieces of iron, one redstone torch, seven pieces of iron, <laughs> I, I can't count, and one redstone. And you put that chap down, and basically whenever anyone, including yourself, gets within 50 blocks of this radar, as you can see there, it'll tell you who's around. You can also put a name tag in an anvil and call it, say, the buzzdar, and then right click on it with the name tag, and it will now say, Joe Buzz is near your portable radar named buzzdar. So it doesn't give you the coordinates if you do that, but it will tell you which one it is so you know where it is, which is really cool. Um, but it does, unfortunately, go very, very regularly. See if I can jump over this. Nope. <laughs> Too noisy. Now, there's a final door. There's a hell of a lot of security here, and you're going to need, it looks like a card here. So there's a chest. Um, it's a password protected chest, and it has the same password as the door. Once you do that, you open it up. Now, for the door and everything, if you just... Um, when you place it down, oh, this is just going to become one big one. Whoops, I'll just put one over here. Um, once you place it down, it'll allow you just to type in the code. So if I do that again, as you can see, super easy to use. And let's see what it's like to craft seven pieces of iron, a chest, and a keypad. So not too difficult, and actually one of the really cool items in this mod. So I did get the keycard out, level one keycard. And what this is, is a keycard reader, just crafted with a lot of stone and a hopper. See, a lot of these are really cheap. I love it. So if I placed it here, um, once you right-click on it, it'll tell you what level of security you'll need. Um, or you can change that and save and continue. So basically, there's three levels of security, and each level of security has a different key. So there's three different keys, and they're all crafted slightly differently, as you can see. So it's pretty cool, and you can have specific keys for specific rooms. Now, this one is a level one, and we'll pass on through. Now, there's also, if you can see, I don't know if you notice, these reinforced iron bars, which are basically just really hard to destroy iron bars. They're four iron and one iron bar. Pretty cheap and pretty, pretty useful too. And then one of the final security checks is this. This is an item scanner or an inventory scanner. And that is seven stone, a laser block, and an ender chest. Now, once you place this chap down, you need to place it like a block from the other one. And if you right click on it, it will give you a bunch of slots where you can put stuff in. So say for example, 
I am not allowed to take shears into a place. And you just leave it on check inventory or you can omit redstone or just the check. So if I pass through, oh, I don't have the shears on me anymore. <laughs> That's why I can pass through. Oh dear. So if I pass through with shears, you'll see they disappear. It basically, that setting just deletes the shears, which is very cruel. But if you break it, you get shears back. So this one I've actually set to a redstone emit and a diamond sword. So it won't take the diamond sword off me, but it'll set that alarm off again. Which should probably be a different toned alarm because people will just be like, oh, someone's coming in again. And they'd let me in with my sword. Now there's also this, which is reinforced glass. And reinforced glass is crafted using four pieces of glass and a glass pane, very similar to the iron bars. And this stuff is really, really strong. There's also reinforced iron gates. There's a lot of reinforced stuff that comes with this mod now in the update. Four iron and a fence gate will craft you that. And they look pretty swanky too. A lot of these items look amazing. Um, so in this chest, another locked chest, I'm going to clear my inventory. It's the same password. I use the same password for everything. <laughs> it says a prohibited chest. So this is what you don't want the prisoners to come in with. Now there's two new items, two new buckets. And it's a fake bucket of water and a fake bucket of lava. Now a bucket of lava, it sets you on fire, but it won't burn you. Whereas the fake water will burn you. Let's see, let's test this out. Let's get out of creative, this could be bad. Hey, as you can see, it's not actually damaging me, but I am on fire. And then the water will, holy shnikes. That escalated very quickly hold as you can see that it's not water it's definitely acid you don't want the prisoners coming in with that okay so next in the prohibited chest now that i've died we have track mines and these come along with a bunch of other dirt mines stone mines cobblestone mines diamond ore mines sand mines and a furnace mine now all of these are basically decoys that are explosive um so i don't know if you've seen the dragon mod showcase i did a little while ago um they look very real. It's a very similar concept um, that once you break it, it'll explode. Uh, just like that. So let's put a little torch here because I don't want any creepers coming in. More explosions. We don't want that. Let's put some torches. Good, good, good. So as you can see, there's a bunch of them. Furnaces. You could just put a decoy furnace there. No one would ever know. And then boom. <laughs> it's so clever. I love it. So there's a lot of troll items that come with this too. So it comes with diamond cobble, all kinds of stuff. And there's also a track mine, which does, I think, look a little different um, to the original. So you, but once you roll over it, boom, boom, baby. So that one does look different, but it's still pretty effective too. Let's make sure the sun is up. And what else have we got in here? So we can use all of this. And finally, let's just clear this out. The final bunch of confiscated items. We have the portable radar, which I showed you a second ago, and then the bouncing Betty. Um, we have iron trap door, code breaker, universal block remover, and a mine remote access tool. Now that's just something, it's not so much confiscated, but something's really useful. So the universal block remover will just pretty much remove all them blocks that are really hard to mine up. So the code breaker is still work in progress, but essentially the idea behind it is that if you right click on any of these items that have a password protection or anything like that, you can just open them straight up. And let me just show you how these chaps are crafted. Um, the iron, two iron ingots are shears for the universal block remover. The code breaker is a lot more expensive with diamonds, gold, redstone, emeralds, a nether star, and a redstone torch. That is so Super expensive, super duper expensive. Now some of those explosive blocks, um, they're not too expensive. You just see it's a mine next to cobblestone for the cobblestone one and vice versa for the rest. Which And a mine, when you get three, is three iron ingots and one piece of gunpowder. Now we have some iron trap doors which are confiscated because we don't want the prisoners being all sneaky sneaker. Now you can't open it with your hand but a redstone signal will open that for you. And then we have the Bouncing Betty, which is basically a mine, um, but it bounces. So that's nice. Uh, if you get in the vicinity of it, it'll bounce up in the air and kill you. Just like that. And prison is in chaos. The rain has come. The prisoners, they will escape. I now will let them escape. Let me in creative so I can let them escape. 
and they're all free. The security didn't work, but if you want to see us do a security challenge, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Let's try and hit 3,000 likes. And if you want to check out the mod, links in the description. And as always, thanks for watching. In a world where Void's Wrath teams up with MCProHosting.com to have any mod packs auto install straight to a server for you and your friends to play, go over to MCProHosting.com to get yourself a Crazy Craft, Dream Craft, or Jurassic Craft server today.